Hello everyone, welcome to Luminosity. This is the first episode of the Lunaverse Basics series, where we'll be exploring the fundamentals of Luna's lore. Regardless of whether you're an experienced theorist or a curious fan, this series aims to equip you with essential knowledge about the Lunaverse, based on what Blockberry Creative and Luna themselves have revealed. Before we start, I hope that you've already seen all of Luna's music videos. The more familiar you are with them, the easier it will be to follow along with this series. So if you haven't, I highly recommend taking the time to enjoy them first. With all that said, let's dive into the Lunaverse. The lore is a fundamental aspect of Luna that ties together many different concepts and weaves them seamlessly into a story. It may appear to be cryptic and complex, but contrary to popular belief, you do not need a PhD in quantum physics to understand it. This introductory video will cover the basics, each member's profile, their subunits, and finally the full group itself. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luna is a girl group under Blockberry Creative consisting of 12 members. During their 22-month-long pre-debut project, each member was revealed periodically, along with a single album and music video. All 12 girls have unique profiles, denoted by their representative colors, animals and shapes. It is worth noting that Hustle's animal is simply described as a white bird and not specifically a dove. Jin Sol's and Shwari's animals have been identified as a blue beta fish and a fruit bat, respectively. Furthermore, Gowon's turquoise color is officially referred to as Eden Green. Eden Green. Olivia He's color has been described as either silver or black. Which is also reflected on other official material. For the sake of simplicity, her color is henceforth assumed to be silver. The representative shapes are found in the Orbit logo and the Orbit 1.0 photo album. The meaning behind them will be explained in detail in future videos. Luna is split into three subunits, one-third, Adai Circle, and YY by Y. There are certain characteristics that are unique to each subunit. The first subunit, one-third, is composed of Heejin, Hyanjin, Hasu, and Vivi. They are located on planet Earth and portray the most realistic and practical sceneries of life. Individually, their stories start in France, Japan, Iceland and Hong Kong respectively. Hence the special characteristic of this subunit are locations around the world. The name One Third not only describes the subunit as a third of Luna, but also represents the subunit structure. BBC tells us that the three is composed of Heejin, Hyunjin and Hasul. Yojin adds the slash and Vivi completes the subunit as the one. Yojin's position as the slash is reinforced in other instances. The 200th episode of Luna TV. 여러분 제가 이달의 소녀 3분의 1 그 짝대기 그 진짝대기 그거인지 알고 계셨나요? And the structure paper released in 2017. Similar to the other one third members, she is also associated with a location, Taiwan. 대만 소녀, 파리 소녀, 일본 소녀, 아이슬란드 소녀. Despite this, there is also evidence that Yojin is independent from the subunits. BBC has made a point of singling her out in the music video descriptions of Favorite, Hi Hi, and Butterfly. She was not involved in any subunit's promotional activities and is set apart from them in the album cover of Plus Plus. The seating arrangement for the stylish performance at their debut concert, Luna Birth, points to Yojin simultaneously representing the slash in one third whilst remaining a separate entity.
The second subunit, Adai Circle, is composed of Kim Lip, Jinso, and Shreddy. They place themselves between the Earth and the cosmos. Each member represents a moon, hence the Odd in Adai Circle is an image of three moons together. Each member also has an Odd Eye. Kim Lip and Jin Sol have one on their left eye, while Chwari has one on her right. Together, they complete a big circle with colors as the central idea. As noted in that quote, the colors of Arai Circle members are particularly important. Hasul confirmed this during a segment on Idol Radio. Blackberry Creative has also mentioned that both Jinsol and Chwari have secondary colors, further reinforcing the importance of colors to Arai Circle. Jinsol stands on the border of blue and black, and Chwari brings purple and white to the group. Lastly, Chwari has a strong connection with the fruit, the cherry. Hold on to this observation, it will be elaborated on later. The last subunit, YY by Y, stands for Youth Youth by Young, and consists of Eve, Chu, Go Wan, and Olivia He. They were born in Eden, the utopian land, which is located beyond the Earth of One Third and the Middle Earth of Arai Circle. Eventually, they deny the rules of Eden and venture off on a forbidden quest to find their identities. Each member possesses a special fruit. Upon eating it, the member will be exiled to the Earth. These fruits are respectively a red apple, a strawberry, a pineapple, and a blood plum. Right, let's get back to the cherry. In Love Cherry Motion, Chwari eats a cherry and goes unconscious. She awakens and finds herself in an unfamiliar place. Could the cherry serve the same purpose as the other fruits then? Surrounding evidence shows that this is not the case. Although both the cherry and YY by Y's fruits affect the user's ability to traverse the Lunaverse, the purpose behind consuming them is a distinguishing factor. YY by Y ate their respective fruits to signal their rejection of Eden. But Chwari is not from Eden, and so by extension, the act of consuming a cherry is not related to Eden. Furthermore, while YY by Y's representative fruits are exclusive to themselves, cherries are not exclusive to Chwari, as Jin Sol is also seen eating them in Egoist. The Lunaverse is the alternate universe Luna lives in. By telling a fairy tale, Luna's fictional universe is built up by stories told by music introduced to the world. But what story is being told here? The answer is found in the music videos themselves. Although each one tells a story of its own, they are clearly tied together through direct references, cameo appearances of other members, as well as many recurring visual symbols. Blackberry Creative supplements this with written lore, most notably in each album's promotional text. They explain that each one of the members have their unique identity as a solo artist, and the solo artists gather to form a unit. When the units finally gather, they create a world. Gradually, the overarching narrative begins to take shape. Luna aims to overcome various obstacles during their journey to unite all 12 members and soar to the sky. However, as stated earlier in the video, each subunit resides in a different realm. One third and Yojin on Earth, Arai Circle in between Earth and the Cosmos, and YY by Y in Eden. In order to unite, the girls would have to gather in one place. Fortunately, some members are capable of moving between the three planes, particularly Arai Circle. 
그리고 오다의 서클이 그 중간계를 이루고 있는데요. 예. 그래서 오다의 서클이 유일하게 왔다 갔다 할수 있는 유닛을 뜻합니다. As such, the ambitious task of uniting Luna falls mainly on their shoulders. Eventually, Luna's story culminates with their debut album Plus Plus, where positive energy is emitted from the gathering of the 12 members. Upon this union, the construction of the moon Luna has been dreaming about will be complete. There is still one vital concept left, stated by Kim Lip to be an important hint for Luna moving forward. The enigmatic Mobius strip. The Mobius strip is a twisted, ring-shaped object characterized by having only one side and one boundary. Its first direct appearance was as a wristband in Girlfront. The Korean word for Mobius also appears on a neon sign in Sweet Crazy Love. The strip is a widely discussed topic, so there are many different theories on how it links to the Lunaverse. While its role in the story has not yet been explicitly explained by Blockberry Creative, we have been told that Luna toughens the strip by shuffling and swapping words to eventually become one. The Lunaverse extends far beyond the music videos. Hints about the story are hidden in various places, including teaser videos, teaser captions, lyrics, choreography, photo books, and most notably, official fan events such as Luna X Study Group and Cinema Theory Up and Line. These were hosted in cinemas and showcased exclusive content, including never-before-seen short films that tie key points of the plot together. All of these sources add greater depth and detail to Luna's ever-growing narrative. While it may seem overwhelming at first, delving deeper can be an incredibly captivating and rewarding experience. Thanks for watching! I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Sources for all of the references mentioned in the video can be found in the description box. If you have any questions pertaining to the video or about the Lunaverse in general, feel free to leave a comment. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll be tackling common misconceptions about the Lunaverse.